Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2022. We are finally back underway after a break on Saturday. Apologies about that. Uh, we're still getting over uh, the, the last remnants of the cold, which is, is pretty much gone by the wayside now. Um, but yeah, we are back today. We've got a double header against Alfreton Town, one in the uh, Vanarama National League North and one as we start our FA Trophy campaign. As you can see, things are going pretty well. We are top of the league at the moment, um, just o o over uh, Gloucester on, on goal difference. Um, but we are four points clear of third place Chorley now, which is absolutely fantastic. So since you were last with me, things have gone fairly well. Um, we beat... Um, well, saved by the doorbell. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I forgot where I was up to, but uh, we uh, played Geisley. We beat them 3-1. Natumba, Masanka and Jack Young on the score sheet there. We then beat Fylde, to, uh, oh, sorry, Drew with Fylde 2-2. Uh, Robert Briggs and Taylor Charters scoring there. Uh, we then beat Spennymoore 4-0. Jack Bordenham, Niall uh, Mayer. Uh, and Robert Briggs getting the goals there. Uh, we then lost 3 2 to Chester. This was a, a poor performance. And one of them where you lose and you just go, ah, I'm not playing any more of this tonight. And that's exactly what I did. I just uh, came off it and uh, decided to come back a couple of days later and uh, do these matches. One against Altrincham. We beat them 4 1. Sendles White, Robert Briggs, and Alex Kempster score in there. We then beat Lemington 2 0 with Robert Briggs and Taylor Charters uh, before most recently beating Boston United 2-0 with Masanka and Brown on the score sheet. So all that means that, as I said, we are top of the Vanarama National League North, which is a really good achievement considering we lost the first two games of the season. You can see Basford United are up there with us as well. Um, seven points clear of York uh, for the playoffs at the moment. Which is brilliant, you know, that's exactly what we want to, to be doing. We want to be fighting for promotion. The quicker we get into the Football League, the better, because the financial situation is not good. Um, you know, we are a professional club, and at this level, um, with not a lot of income coming in, that is going to have a huge effect on the finances. So we need to, to either hope that Jeff is going to um, pump some more money into the club, which, you know, um, is up to him. Or we need to think about some cup runs and uh, starting with the the FA Trophy today. Hopefully we can we can get a bit of prize money from that. I know it's certainly not anywhere near the FA Cup money, but uh, let's have a look at what the prize fund is. Does it say the final um, winner prize money sixty grand, which would be huge to be honest. Sixty grand back into the kitty, we would certainly settle for that. And I think we are capable of having a good run in the FA Trophy if I'm honest with you, but we've got to get past Alfred today. A uh, quick look at squad performances. Top goal scorer is Robert Briggs with 11 from 18. Eight each for Kempster and Masanka. Five for Sendles White. Top assists is six for Wilson. Uh, five for Charters. Three for Kempster, Masanka, Young, uh, Briggs and Norris. Top average rating is uh, Taylor Charters with a 7.51. 7.41 for Robert Briggs as well. And uh, things are going pretty well for those guys. So this is the team that we've put together for today. We've got Miles Boney in goal with Jordan Hunter, Sendles White, Mayer and Sam Gibson in defence. We've then got uh, Briggs and Jack Young in the middle of the park with Connor T, Taylor Charters and Alex Kempster starting behind Natumba Masanka up top. And uh, yeah, you've, you'll probably notice there's no goals there from Dave Nugent or Ashley Chambers. And yeah, I mean, they haven't really... Been uh, involved too much this season. Obviously, uh, Nugent got an injury just before the season started, so he's still coming back to full fitness. But um, Ashley Chambers just hasn't really got going, unfortunately, and that's a that's a huge shame. Um, and Natumba Masang has started scoring goals, so he's very, very difficult to drop uh, at present. But uh, we'll certainly... Keep an eye on the situation and try and get them playing a little bit. Charters into the middle. Header from Sendles White. And that is exactly where he's got the rest of his five goals this season. That was absolutely brilliant. Sendles White with the header sends it into the back of the net. And it is a 1-0. And Taylor Charters with his first assist already. Charters into the middle. Header over the bar by Mayer. 
and uh, a great start to the match. And this is the FA Trophy match. So this is the one that I really, really want to win today because uh, it would be awful to not have uh, a cup run in, in either of the FA competitions this season. But we'll, we'll try our best. We'll see. Here's Mayer. Gets it to Young to Briggs. Back to Mayer now. Mayer forward to Young. Back to Mayer. Mayer on the ball to Sendles White. Sendles White back to Mayer. Here's Young. Young gets it wide to Kempster now. Here's Gibson on the left-hand side. Forward to Kempster now. Into the middle. Masankas there. Couldn't do anything with it, though. Here's T. Back to Hunter. Here's Charters. Young all oh, over the bar. Jack Young with the chance there. And that could have been 2-0. And you feel like a two-goal cushion will virtually confirm our place in the second round at this point. Here's uh, Checkstone. Uh, Butterfield. Brownswood. Here's uh, Andal Goddens to Evans. That's forward to Kise. Kise on the ball. Oh, oh, no, it's a penal, Jeff. It's a penal. That was awful. Everybody just tripping over each other. And all of a sudden, they're going to equalise. Borney in goal. Oh, he had a good fist at it, but couldn't quite save it. And Dale Southwell has equalised for Alfred and Town. It's one all. Big disappointment there. Oh, what a shame. Right, let's encourage them. Yes. Who is it? Hunter. He's going to throw it in long. Here's T. Connor T. Back to Charters. Back to Briggs. Briggs. Oh, it's off the post. And how has that not gone in? Unbelievable. Unbelievable there. But it is one all at half time. We're going to throw our arms around and say, what on earth are you doing? Let's get this game won. Um, Connor T now having a good game. So we're going to bring David Norris on for him. We're going to bring on David Nugent, give him a chance as well. And Zach Brown on to the left-hand side. Three changes. I know it's quite quite a lot, but uh, I think we need it in this game. We need to just get that pizzazz back. Here's Nugent on the ball. Hasn't really done a great deal for the club. It would be good to see him get on the score sheet today. I think he is capable of it. Here's Mayer. Gets it to Gibson. Gibson now on the ball. Gibson back to Mayer. Now Mayer on a yellow card. Forward to Norris. Norris to Briggs. Briggs back to Sendles White. Here's Mayer once more. Back to Sendles White. It feels like a long highlight. And you know what happens with long highlights. There's always a goal. Here's Young to Brown. Here's Nugent out wide to Gibson now. Gibson. Whips it in and brings us in. David Nugent scores. Yes, David Nugent on the score sheet. And that is what we are talking about. Robert Briggs should have scored. David Nugent did score. And that's what I said. You get the ball onto his feet in the, in the box and he will stick it into the back of the net. And okay, I think my grandma could have got that. And she's been dead 15 years. I think she could have probably tap that in from that position but we're not going to worry about that we're not going to worry about that because um david nugent can very much claim that as his own but um that was a bit good that was a bit good from alfreton and uh who was that louis lloyd yeah beaten over the top again and it's this ball over the top it's so frustrating and Miles Borney's just not going to do anything about that, unfortunately. Here's Jones. Oh, headers it, has it, bleh, headers it to Norris. Didn't do anything with it, though. Sendles White. Lloyd. Oh, here's Kise. That's forward. Kise in the middle. Lloyd with a header, and that's just wide. Alfred now on top at the moment. We're going to encourage them again. Let's get them going. Oh... Now, are there replays in the FA Trophy? I have an awful feeling that there are. And that's going to be an extra game on the left. Oh, no, it goes to extra time. Well, <sighs> don't know how we're not winning yet. So, do we get an extra substitution now? No, apparently not. So... We just gotta cope with what hand we've been dealt here. Here's Charters gets it to Norris to Hunter. Here's Briggs Hunter again. And this is good football. Norris down that right hand side into Briggs now. 
Robert breaks into the middle and, well, Zach Brown was there. Maybe if Natumba Masanka was there, would he have stuck it into the back of the net? Here's uh, Kise to Grice now. Grice on the ball over the bar. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Is this going to go down to Penno Jeffs? We will have to find out. Four minutes left. Of the first half of extra time. Now it's happening. We're going to encourage the boys. We're going to try and win this match in 120 minutes because our players are dead now. They are not built for 120 minutes. Let's uh, let's get that clear. But no, it looks like nothing's happening. We are just playing for penalties by the looks of it. And it is going to come down to Penno Jeffs in this first round match. Um, composure. Biggest attribute for me with penalties is composure. Uh, so we're going to get David Nugent in on there. We're going to get uh, Robert Briggs in on there. Um, I think Niall Mayer takes the fifth. We're going to have um, Jack Young take the third. Then Charters. Um, do we want Mayer on there? Uh, no, I think we want Sam Gibson on there. Then Norris. Then Hunter. Then Sendles White, then Brown, then Mayer, then Boney. Team talk. Um, point the finger. Where's the one that says pick your spots? Fair enough. Everybody's motivated. Oh, no, Natumba Masanka. Well, he's not playing anyway. So here we go. David Nugent steps up. He scored his first goal of the season. Can he score his second here? Yes, he can. He's on fire. <laughs> Southwell now. Dale Southwell scored the equaliser, of course. He's going to step up now. And, well, he scores. Uh, already scored one penalty today, of course. Here's Robert Briggs, player of the season so far for me. Steps up. And forgets where the goal is. Thought he was playing rugby. Oh, Grice now steps up and, well, Alfredton, all they have to do is send the keeper the wrong way and roll it into, into the back of the net. That's all they have to do. Jack Young steps up, long run up. Oh, what a penalty that was. Right into the top corner. Here's Johnson now stepping up. Can Miles Boney produce a wonderful save? No, he can't. Alfredton 3, South Shields 2. Here's a Taylor Charters now. Another brilliant player this season, and that is a fabulous penalty. Potts now steps up. We've got two more chances here. Potts. Oh, it's saved. What a wonderful save from Miles Bordy. He tips it over the crossbar. Sam Gibson now. We brought him here on his composure. But that is one of the worst penalties. I've ever seen in football manager. Oh no. Here's Evans now. He's going to step up. And this has got to be saved or missed. Or oh, we're out of the FA Trophy as well. And they score. And Alfred and Town win on Penno Jeffs. Oh my word. Look at that. 35 shots in the match. Oh, that is a painful one. I'm going to throw me water bottle. I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed. Ah, oh, that is annoying. Oh. Well, I suppose a positive is we can completely focus on the league now. Uh, we've got no excuses if we don't get promoted this season up into the Football League. Um, well, into the National League, I should say. Let's, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But we've now got... Um, you know, a decent 20 game spell between now and the end of the season, uh, 20, 25, um, to be precise. So 25 games from now until the end of the season to do it. But first of all, we got to go and get revenge on Alfredton, the rascals. Well, 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 Alfredton run scares. It is, uh, postponed because of a waterlogged pitch. That is a, 
a bit of a shame. Uh, so our next match will be against Kidderminster at home. That Old Britain match has been rearranged for the 8th of December. Uh, gives us a little bit more recovery time, I suppose. So, yeah, I'll see you for the Kidderminster match. OK, a couple of changes for this match against Kidderminster then. Uh, Zach Brown has come in on the right-hand side for Connor T. Um, and, yeah, everything else has stayed the same. So let's get into the match then. It should be a match that we are very capable of winning at home. And uh, I'm impressed that the, the pitch hasn't uh, been waterlogged. So, you know, we, we, can, we can play on. And hopefully we can we can go out there and put in a good performance. I mean, look at the the clip of the pitch. It <laughs> really doesn't look good, does it? Uh, Charter's in the middle. Sendell's wide. There you go. Almost identical goals from the first match to the second match today. And uh, well, Charter's with another wonderful assist. He's on the the verge of equaling the six player of the matches from. Robert Briggs last season, this would be his sixth if he got it today. Charter's into the middle and he's certainly on his way because Narmeyer has put it into the back of the net from the corner and Taylor Charters is becoming the Giovanni Reina of this series. He is absolutely superb with the set pieces and Taylor Charters already two assists today. It would be nice if he could go and grab himself a goal as well to top off uh, this performance so far. Bennett gets it to Adarqua. Now to Emmett. Emmett gets it forward to Austin now. Austin on the ball. What's he going to do with it? He's going to whip it in. Oh, it's in the back of the net. And Dylan Parker has scored. And that is a great finish from Dylan Parker. Kidderminster back in the match. Um, as Gloucester have gone back to the top of the table. We do have a game in hand, of course, because of that... Um, Abandoned match against Baz, uh, against Alfreton. Yeah, he has Briggs, Charters on the ball. Charters gets it wide to Jay Ben now. Jay Ben still going. Whips it in. Masanka's there with the header. Ho, oh, ho, ho. It nearly went into the back of the net. Don't know what the keeper was doing there particularly. But just knew it was going wide apparently. But there you go. Still 2-1. And Chorley are ahead as well. So things are tightening up at the top of this table. Bazford are certainly... Wanting to get involved in that as well. It's going to be Robert Briggs with the free kick. Oh, it hits the bar. That was close. He has knocked in some crackers from outside the box. But um, <clears throat> there you go. Oh, dear. Jay Ben injured. Now, that is a is a tough one. Um, I suppose now Maya goes out wide. And we bring on Sam Bailey in defence. That seems like a decent replacement. But, um, yeah, Jay Ben, he's been a good player this season. Glad we managed to bring him in permanently after having him on loan for a month last season. Seems to be doing pretty well. Here's a Dudu now to Austin. Back to Dudu. Into the middle. Bailey away. Good header. Austin with the shot, and that's over the bar. Still 2-1, but uh, we do... Look a little shaky out there. Here's Kempstep back to Gibson. Charters into Young now. Young back to Bailey. Here's Briggs. Oh, Robert Briggs scores. A, a 12th goal of the season for Robert Briggs. And that's into the back of the net. And that is perfect. And we are going to bring on David Nugent now. And we might as well bring on David Norris as well. The old men, they're going to come off and come on and see out, out this match. Oh, Sendall's White has picked up a knock. That's not what we want. Um, we might take him off and just play with 10 men. Because I really don't want Sendall's White to be injured. So we'll just risk it. Play with 10 men for the rest of the match. Basford United, look at them. 4-2 up against Leamington. They're up to fifth place in the league. Uh, here's Mayer with the throw. Now Briggs. Back to Mayer. What a cross that is. And Kempster with the goal. What a cross that was from Niall Mayer. The centre-back moved out of right, right back. And uh, first of all, terrible long throw. Headed out. Briggs with it. Briggs got it back to Mayer. And what a wonderful cross that is. And Kempster was just there. Thank you very much. Maxing it to the back of the net. And uh, there you go. 4-1 is now the score. 
Uh, same score as Gloucester are uh, beating Altrincham as well. And there you go, 4-1. We beat them. Absolutely fantastic. Nice work, everybody. And that makes up for a very heartbreaking uh, last-minute penalty defeat to Alfreton Town in the FA Trophy. We are back, everyone. We're back fighting. We've got a game in hand. We're looking like we are going to be part of this promotion picture. We've got 24 games left. It's going to be a big one. Let me know down in the comments where you think we are going to finish. And Jim, um... Oh, mate. Mate, mate, mate. J Ben. Ooh. I mean, do we release him? That's that's the question. Do we release J Ben? Oh, I mean, we need to pluck up 12K as well. I mean, can we mutually terminate? Because, you know, 400 quid a week for somebody that is not going to be playing and probably won't be part of our squad next season. Let's see. He's unwilling. That's the problem with full-time contracts. Um, oh. No, I think we probably just keep him around and, and hope that he's he's all right. But he's, he's never going to play for the club again. <laughs> oh, no. J Ben. Oh. I'm just trying to think. You know, six months, seven months from now, it it's gonna be May, June. You know, that's that's huge. Before he's back to full fitness, it's it's gonna be next season. He's out for the season now. Four hundred pound. Um so what are we looking at? We're looking at sixteen hundred a month. Times yeah, we're basically paying off the rest of his contract, so we don't gain anything by letting him go. Do we have any transfer budget? We do actually have a bit, uh, quite a bit of transfer budget. Um, but it's only four hundred squids a week in it. Yeah, so I suppose we just keep him around and, and hey, if we're at this level again next year, he'll be somebody to, to keep around at the club, but that's going to be a, a, a career ender really because, you know, he's developing well. Um, I think probably would have ended up being a, a good conference um, national player or, or maybe even a League Two player had he avoided that injury, but that has left us in a bit of a pickle. We've got Elliot Omazusi as our only fit right back at the moment. And okay, he's a, he's a cracking player, <laughs> you know, considering he's only um, two star. He always comes in and does a job, but um, the injuries are starting to rack up a little bit. We've got Adam Wilson out for eight weeks. Joao Gomez still coming back from an injury. Kilgallen still coming back from an injury. Sendles White is out for a couple of days. He's out for the rest of the season. And it just shows at this at this level, things can just change so quickly. Um, bit of a shame, bit of a shame. But when are we going to come back? That is the question. Let's have a look. So, um, I'll get through the the December period. I think. Um, although it would have been nice to play that Basford match. Well, we've got Gloucester there in Hereford. Can we? Yeah, we'll come back for those two, and see if we can turn around what happened on the opening couple of days of the season. I think that is going to be important to see uh, how well we get on. So Boxing Day and uh, New Year's Eve matches for us in the next episode, and then we'll play Gateshead and York after that, um, and then probably catch up with the rest of the season. We're going to play Basford on the last day of the season. That's going to be a cool match um, against the, the team that we came up with. But... There you go. That is where we'll leave it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager content in the future. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.